It's for the kids, isn't it, Christmas? There, it's Christmas, it is. It's a, it's a time for the kids. And there are people in this room who do have children, and there are people in this room who don't have children. And the people who don't have children, um, they think they know, don't they? They think they know. They, think they know what it means to have children. Sometimes they chat about it, don't they? And they're little couples, you know, oh, I'd love to start a family one day with you. It'd be lovely. You'd make a really good dad. Oh, I think you'd be an amazing mum. So, wouldn't it be so lovely having little, little, little versions of you and me running around? I'd love to have a family. And you think you know what you're talking about. You have no idea. You have no idea what it's like. You have no idea how difficult, how difficult things will become in your life. Things that you don't even consider to be things will become nearly impossible <laughs> when you have children. I'm talking about things like leaving the house, for example. <laughs> this is how people without children leave the house. Shall we leave the house? <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is how I leave the house almost every day. Luca! Come downstairs! We're late! Why aren't you downstairs? Put your shoes on! I don't know where my shoes are! Put your shoes on! Go and find your shoes! Where did you see them last? On my feet. After that, get your shoes on! Come here, come here! Arms up, arms up, arms in, arms in, arms up, arms up, arms in! That's my wife. She's so tired, she can't dress herself. <laughs> oh. Arms in, what arms, darling? Where are we going? I want to go to bed. Where are we going, darling? Tony, you've got Lucas's shoes on your hands. I found your shoes, darling. You put your shoes on. Where's Ozzy? Come downstairs! We're late! Put your coat on. I don't want to wear my coat. <laughs> you, you know people without children? You know how you do zips up? I've seen how much time you have in your lives. How you focus on it. You get the one with the fabric. You just pop it in, don't you? Nestles in. Then you pause, thinking about your free life and what you might want to do with it later that day. And then you just glide up, don't you? I don't think I have time for that shit in my life. <laughs> Every single morning. <laughs> Stay still. <laughs> You're gonna have to put another coat on. I can't, I've ruined this it. I've ruined this it. I'm sorry, I've made the situation worse. Ozzy! My three-year-old will never come downstairs. The only way to get him to leave the house is we have to bluff. We have to pretend that we're leaving without him. It's the only way it'll work. We have to all go, bye-bye, Ozzy. We're all going then. We're all going. My, my other son loves it, the six-year-old. We're leaving Ozzy. He's going to stay here. I hate him. I hate him. Don't be so rude about your brother. Say goodbye. We're not really leaving. We're pretending to leave, OK? Say goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Ozzy. Bye-bye. But he doesn't care. He just goes, bye-bye. <laughs> Then we have to come back in and explain to him, we're not really leaving, darling, we love you, it's okay. I'll buy you something if you come. Will you come if I buy you something? <laughs> this is every single time we leave the house. The other day, we're leaving the house, and I just had enough. I just said to my wife, I'm sorry, I can't do this. We're bluffing, we're saying bye-bye to him. Then my wife says, let's go and get him. I'm like, stop, no, I've had it. No, stop. I cannot go through this every single time we leave the house. <laughs> and it's driving me insane, okay? I say, we, I say we call his bluff. I think he has to learn a lesson, okay? <laughs> Let's go. Let's just go. Let's go to Corfu. Let's have a nice holiday. <laughs> You've no idea what it's like. <laughs>